to the city of healing where the city resides within this is your sister Sinet and Angela wanted to come forth and just do a brief share talk about what I'm wearing just in case you're interested I am as usual going to do the walk either before this video or after but let's talk about what I'm wearing I'm wearing a cozy set what I call a cozy set that I got off um, that I got from a store called offline it was just a, a like a a sister store to Irie and I think I'm saying that right but anyway they sell like loungewear bralettes different types of um, just basically lounge comfortable wear vacation wear anyway I go there my daughter likes going there so once in a while I go there myself and I went there a while back and they had a little sale going on and uh, you know I like that's one of my favorite words sale <laughs> I'm really not a cheap person but you know like I said if you don't have to spend a lot for clothes because it's so plentiful why do that but anyway I go in there and I see this um, bone it's not necessarily a set but you know separate pieces I was like that is really gorgeous it's not necessarily one of my favorite colors but I get the most compliments most people like to see me in this cream bone color and I really liked it anyway I think they had a, a gray and a black but I wanted this one. So um, the pants are, this is so soft. This set is like so cozy. You want to spend all day in it and sleep in it as well. But the pants, my size is a small. Uh, usually a pants sort of fit like it's fitting now. I usually get a medium. Depends on what it is or a large, you know, so it fit baggy. But these are small. So you really do have to size down. Uh, for these pants and the top I wanted to fit really big anyway um, so I got a medium um, the small probably would have fit or did the same thing but I really wanted to bag a little bit more because this doesn't have pockets and um, it doesn't really um, hang you know the top don't hang and cover you know your back at all so that's what I was aiming for but it didn't happen so I was like I'll let it be cropped a little bit um, the top I got from Irie which is the sister store to offline it's like a a, a cream colored like corset uh, tank top it's gorgeous um, it's kind of lacy at the bottom and corset you know in the front it's just it's gorgeous if it was a little warmer, I'd probably would take this off and tie it around my um, shoulder or something like that. But, you know, the um, the top. But it's kind of very chilly in the 50s so far. So that's basically, you know, the jumper soft cozy set. So worth every penny. It wasn't expensive at all. Let's see. I think, well, the pants were on sale. I think the pants were like $80. And I think I paid maybe like um, thirty dollars for this because this was on sale, and the t this tank top corset was on sale too for like twenty dollars. So it was about like a ninety dollar set, I think, something like that. The shoes. Funny little backstory to this. Um, I do not like Crocs. I don't usually wear them. I don't think they're attractive whatsoever with the little holes in them. I don't know the purpose of the holes in the Crocs. But anyway, I go. I decided I want to go in there because I was considering a present for someone. And I went in there and uh, I saw hanging up high. I said, well, those are nice. You know, they don't look like the other Crocs. So I like those. And she said, oh, yeah, they just came in. And they are flying off the shelves, you know, very, very popular. I was like, well, 
I don't, not really a trendy person, but you know, I don't usually follow crowd, but I like those. She said, well, you're gonna be in style. I was like, oh, okay. So I run and I get them, I try them on. I'm like a seven, six and a half, seven in Crocs or something like that, uh, because I think they're unisex or whatever. But these are gorgeous. She said they were new. And when I got home and showed my daughter, she's like, she never seen them before, but <laughs> she guess she will be seeing them, you know, uh, if they're popular, but you know, <laughs> she wasn't impressed. So I don't know. I think they just wanted to uh, make fun of a older lady <laughs> or something like that. But anyway, that's basically the outfit. And I got some um, like taupe beige looking uh, socks on with it because it is a little chilly outside today. Um, I got these little earrings that I've had forever, but I think they're really cute. They're really delicate. I'm, I'm so glad that they're still intact. And this doesn't necessarily go with this. This is one of my favorite necklaces that I got from Madewell years ago. And it's still um, standing strong. It's like beaded and the gold cord shell still intact. And that's basically what I'm wearing. Um, as usual, I don't do a lot of makeup. But I focus in more with skincare, although I love makeup. But makeup don't necessarily like me, especially when I say makeup, I'm talking about foundation and blushes and things like that. I don't have on any of that, but you know, I focus in like going good serums and lotions and potions for my face. Not a lot of lotions, <laughs> but mostly oils, you know, for good skincare. And when I do have like uh, foundations and stuff and want to try them because I like them and I want to conceal and you know, my eye bags, all that's really natural, even though I'm really healthy right now, but these genetic eye, <laughs> eye bags won't go anywhere. Uh, I would rather have makeup that I could do that, but I don't. So basically focus in on um, good skincare so I won't have breakouts. Um, but I did, um, I like lip gloss so or lipstick. So my lipstick of the day is from Milk called Vonage or Voage or something like that. This looks like it's purple. But when it goes on, it's, it's like a brown chocolate color. Gorgeous, right? And when I was in the store looking at this, because I have a lot of Fenty lip gloss. I'm also looking at a Dior um, lip gloss. Now Dior, it went on so smooth. It was gorgeous and it was like a chocolate color, but it didn't give you any type of color. It was just clear. But when you wiped, when I noticed when I wiped my mouth to put on another lip gloss, the tissue was brown, <laughs> but you know, you don't see it, you know, on your lips. But this, you know, and plus, this was like $20 or something like this. And Dior was like $40. I was like, well, I like this better and it's more affordable. <laughs> Even though, you know, Dior, it felt really nice. And I said, I'm going with that. So I did. Um, I did put on a little eyeliner on the edge here. And one layer of, what you call it, uh, mascara. That's it. I could have... Uh, my eyelashes are pretty long. They're not really thick, but um, they are pretty long. And I could have did it so that they really look prominent. But I was like, I'll save that for another heavier type of um, makeup attempt. Anyway, that's it for the makeup of the day. Now, let's talk about the perfume of the day. I was out looking for some jewelry at TJ Maxx. Meanwhile, there is a Sephora out that way. So I was inspired to go into Sephora. And I go, of course, to the perfume section. And I see this beautiful bottle, but it was a bigger one. It's this, Dolce & Gabbana Devotion. And I was like, well, I wonder how this smell me smell it. Oh, that's different. I like it. And especially, you know, the bottle. It's just so gorgeous. I have a thing I noticed for like gold and clear bottles. 
even if I don't like the perfume that much, I usually get, get it anyway. But anyway, I do like this, by the way. When you first spray it, I get this lemon meringue vibe. Very nice. Hmm. I was like, well, let me try it on my skin to really test how I really like it. I'm gonna let it dry a little bit. Hmm. And I'm still getting that more, it's more of a lemon, a zest of lemon or a lemon peel. Scent very citrus strong. I think it's a little creamier. And uh, really zesty <laughs> and creamy. And I like it. I really liked it. I don't have anything like this too much, sort of similar in my collection. So I'm thinking, yeah, I like, so I'm walking around with it. And I go, when, go outside of Sephora and go somewhere else and it's still on. It's like, so it passed that test. I don't have nothing like it. And I asked her, I was like, well, do you have um, any smaller bottles? Because it really, I, I have so many perfumes, it really don't make sense getting the bigger one. And she did. There was um, this size, which is about $89. This is about 30 mLs. Then there's a 50 ml that's about... Uh, 115 dollars and then 100 ml is like 160 something like that if i'm not mistaken so let me share some of the uh the notes of dolce gabbana let's see did i it says it's a celebration of the irresistible dessert pinatoni and it's a delectable aromas with top notes of candied lemon, a heart of orange blossom, and a base of vanilla. It's enchanting gourmand blend, said Oliver Crick, which is the designer of the perfume. Yes, I get that. I can get the candied lemon yeah, orange blossom, yeah, vanilla. Uh, and it says it has some rum in it too. Hmm. But to me, it it doesn't really get gourmand for me. It does get like a warm citrus, but not gourmand. Gourmand to me means cooked or something. If it's sweet, it's just sweet or citrus. Or if it's warmed a little or like dried fruit, then I consider that like a warm citrus. But that's what I got from this. I'm, I'm glad I got this in my collection. But I wanted to do something else to it. One thing that I do have that's similar to um, Devotion, sort of, that I wanted to warm it up a little bit more with is Soft. And I think this is by Al Harain. And it's not really that soft. But the funny thing is, it was soft today. But it's not usually soft. And it usually kind of lemon pound cake to me, but it wasn't that this morning. <laughs> but when I put it, let's put it in a different section. This is a little citrus floral. It's sweet. It reminds you of a little bit of pink sugar, that type of sugar sweet. And I like it and that's and it does warm warm up to more of a cakey scent as well so that was one of my combination perfumes today soft by Aharim I believe let me double check and uh, Dolce Gabbana devotion let me share some of the notes of soft I think I have that down as well so that you know, and this right here is about $10. <laughs> and I got this from Fragrance Net quite some time ago. It does have a little dent in it. And I like to layer this a lot with different perfumes. Um, it says, 
the classic perfume collection spray is for people who like having choices. Let's see. Here to perfume. Bergamot, orange, lemon, the Messina rose, strawberry, middle notes, vanilla, honeysuckle, musky, fruity, balsamic, flowery, musky, ambery. And uh, this is very nice, very affordable, a great layering piece if you want to zest or warm something up. This is more citrus floral to me, but it's delicious. It does get a little pound cakey, but you know, it didn't do it today, but it does get kind of um, a little gourmet at times, but definitely was not, did not do that for that. I was waiting for it to happen, but it did not happen. Anyway, that's it for, well, I keep forgetting the purse. Let me share my little purse. Also, when I was in Broad Creek yesterday, um, I was pushed, not necessarily pushed, but I, my favorite store I mention on here a lot is Versona. And I wasn't going to get anything. I was just looking. That's what I was planning on doing. But I saw this purse. I was like, oh, this is so gorgeous. They also had a chocolate one also. And I was like, Man, I don't have anything beige. But I do have something that I could wear with this that will go, I think, really nice. So I opened up and said, well, let me see how much it is. I really don't need no any purses because I'm sure I have a beige purse. But I happened to open it up, and this is the last one that's there. And it says $19.99. I was like, well, it's just meant to be. So I take it to the cash register. And um, I said, oh, I got your last one, and it's on sale. They're like, no, it's not on sale. I said, well, it's what the sign says, you know, $19.99. It's like, well, you have it for $19.99. <laughs>